Hey collectors, Anthony from Hairsters Net here, and it is it was 100 degrees outside today, so um, I have the air conditioner running, I have a fan running, so I have to use this mic to keep the noise out. But today we're going to look at Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Rhinox. So right here I have the box, and uh, as you see because of, you know, things going on behind me and around me, I've decided to put a little closer camera. So as you can see, here is the box. It is the nice kingdom box with just a real action pose of both the Rhino and uh, uh, bot form. And then we go to the back. It's a typical back. Uh, I, you know, whenever they do this, I think they're like, you know, Doctor Strange. They got that uh, magic portal thing going on. I don't know. Anyway, usual top, usual bottom. Um, so we're going to open up the box. And inside is the usual uh, piece of cardboard. Uh, the don't hurt yourself paper. I, I got the card here. This one actually has that that. Uh, let's see if I can get it going. Uh, that uh, Dynamus character. I don't know who that is, but you know, sure, Dynamus. And, and then of course uh, the instructions. Uh, so yay. And here is the man of the hour, Rhinox. Now, uh, if you've, you've seen other reviewers, because a couple of people did get this before me. Um, these guns are too short. Like, let me uh, show you up a little bit of closer here. Uh, he clearly has snub nosed um, Gatling. I like how does this even work in the real world? It, it makes no sense. Um, but uh, yeah, they're too short. I I, I think um, B Larkin's Lair or maybe Firetox has something for you if you really want to go and get some type of expansion for these. Uh, but uh, I mean, otherwise they it look pretty good. But I mean. I, they could have added a little bit more plastic, added like a half inch to this. But uh, for a later transformation needs, uh, I'm going to connect them together. And it looks like this when you connect them together. And I'm just going to put it aside for right now. So, um, Rhinox is a beefy boy. Now, um, I have a couple of QC issues with mine. Uh, first off, uh, this is a super loose arm. He's doing with a chicken wing right here. He's just super loose. This one is super loose going like this, but it's otherwise super tight going the other way. It is, it is, you really got to put some effort into it. Uh, the other thing is the legs are loose this way, but they're super tight up and down. Uh, so I have a weird arm thing going on here. Um, but I mean, otherwise it's pretty good. Now we're going to get into the transformation in a second. I, I want to point out that I feel like I'm doing it wrong. And I read the instructions because uh, what I try to do and which I encourage everyone to do is before you get to the instructions, try to figure it out yourself. That is half the fun is figuring out the puzzle. Um, but there are two points in this transformation where pieces rub against each other and you kind of have to force it. And that is the instructions make it seem like that doesn't happen, but it does happen. And it is annoying. Uh, so the first point of where it rubs together is in his arms. Now his arms, uh, his hands actually go into his arms and you have to pull is make sure the arm is straight. Actually, you know, I think to make it easier, I'm going to put the arm kind of like this and pull it out. And then you just, just fold the arm in and it rubs up against here. I don't know why, but it is a nice satisfying snap. Then you repeat on the other side. And uh, I'm going to again do this and then see if it'll let me do it. There we go. Fold the arm in. Again, it rubs up against here. Uh, I haven't figured out if there's like a right, just a correct angle of doing it. Um, but again, a satisfying snap. Um, but you basically keep the legs kind of like this and uh, doing a T pose. So the next step here is you pull his chest out and uh, it doesn't go out very far and you fold in the fins or I guess bottom of the mouth and you pop it into the chest and simple as that. Uh, the next step, which um, it confused me at first because the instructions are not good about it, is you fold the shoulders in and you have to make sure that the head is pulled forward a little bit. As you see, I, I'm going to show you again. I'm going to pull the head forward a little bit, up and forward, because the shoulders are going to fold in under the head here. Uh, watch your fingers. I actually hurt myself doing this. Uh, but once you get it under, you see how it is different from the other side here. 
But now we're going to do it on the other side. And uh, while it's in. Now, I would turn these out of the way. Make sure that they're in all the way. And, and you, you end up with this. So he's, he's, he's had a diet. He's gotten real thin on the top here. Okay, so the second point where the rubbing happens is when you unfold his legs. Where you fold his leg to put his, his legs like backwards to form his back, uh, you, you kind of have to move the shins around and it's it's weird. Uh, it's just the way it unfolds to get to that final push to you know, put the figure together. The instructions show you kind of just spreading everything out. And uh, yeah, ultimately you're unfolding quite a lot. You were supposed to, and see if I can get it kind of like fold the knee and get the uh, the leg to pop out like this and it shows to do it simultaneously in the instructions uh, but then you, you start noticing it gets a little bit tight uh, in the general like area here so you know do your best I guess okay so uh, there the tail piece here you unfold it and it clips into a slot here um, right there, flip the leg out, and you got to turn it 180 degrees to get it to come out properly. You repeat on the other side, flip the tail out, and then pull the leg out 180 degrees, pull it out. So you, you basically end up with this this weird monstrosity here. Uh, next, you fold in the feet. So we uh, take the feet and, and put them on their uh, ankle, rocket ankle rocker thingy majig, and you flip it about. And there is a slot in here for the side piece, and it, and it, you feel, it feels like it locks into place, and that's, that's good enough. Uh, do the same thing on the other side. Uh, go around, and uh, this is what you end up looking at. It, it is, we're almost to that part where it, the things rub together and I go, okay, is this, am I forcing it? And I feel like I'm forcing it, but so far I haven't got any wear marks. So maybe it's part of the acceptable tolerance it can handle. Um, I do not know. Um, one more note, uh, you do not have to flip his head around. It does say turn his head 180 degrees. I don't care. So, um, but I'm just pointing that out because you you can push the head forward to cover up with well, a rhino head to cover up Rhinox's head, and um, that can get you ready for the next part. But it'll make it a little bit more difficult to get to the final piece on. So you kind of want it to be a little bit not all the way on. And you'll see this because the feet go under the back there. It's kind of how you hide them. But uh, so s there's these pieces here. Uh, just move them up and out of the way for a sec. You're gonna you're gonna click this to do this do it on the other side like this and this I, I spent an hour and a half before I decided to look at the instructions on this guy and I was like I don't understand well now you see uh, I'll try to show it the best I can here uh, you see that you're gonna fold this oops I knocked this out of joint fold this this way because again the goal is to get this foot under the back here and um, this is where we go and we try to match both sides while we're doing this uh, there is as I accidentally moved the piece there's this floating piece here uh, that is on the the uh, thigh uh, just you adjust it as you need it uh, right now it's in the frontward position which is his bot default position um, and I'm sorry if this is confusing. This is a confusing transformation. Um, so this is the part where it starts rubbing. So you see, you end up with this. You have this panel behind this panel. This panel needs to be behind. So you actually have to maneuver it where the panels switch places so you can close this. And, and here's the knee where it's going to go over. like that and uh, I, I worry about uh, perhaps breaking it but it, 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 it lets me do it and uh, sure why not so again we're gonna 
on the other side, move that over. We're going to get closer to closing the back on this side, and we're going to flip the leg over the kneecap. So we end up with, you know, this mess of basically just open up butt end rhino. Uh, once you have all that done, you just kind of open everything up here. And I, I wish the angle was better, but uh, air conditioning and everything. So I'm trying to better light this too. So, oh, before I do anything else, this is why we put the guns together. Uh, you, you stick it in the slots here in the, the knee joint and um, it gives you a place to put it. It's not the best place to put it uh, as far as like, it, it, it doesn't have a function, you know? It's now a matter of just snapping things into place. And I'll show you, here's what it looks like underneath. Um, so basically don't check his gender. Uh, your hand will get cut off. So we, we have all these loose parts kind of, you see we haven't put everything together yet. Uh, there is some sliding and maneuvering. Uh, you may remember this piece here. Uh, before you lock things in on the legs, um, first off, you need to get the legs to go under the, the rhino's back here. Uh, and kind of make sure the waist is aligned because if it goes misaligned, it makes it a little bit more difficult. And you got to get the pieces on the thighs to move forward like this. And uh, that was actually a fairly satisfying snap when I did that. Lock in the panel, repeat on the other side. See if I can do it with the camera. No, I can't do it facing the camera, I have to see it. There we go. So far, so good. Uh, I always touch his legs, I don't mean to. As long as his butt is intact, you know. Um, then we fold in the sides here, and you see we're almost done. We just have to line up the, hold on, I'm gonna pull the top back off again line up the interiors as you see like this and then there are slots you lock into on both sides and if you do it right it'll lock in on the top and right there and uh, we have a rhino I, I don't have any other version of rhinox so this is my first rhinox and uh, I, I did see from a number of people had the uh, the thrilling 30, 30s version and it has movable ears and stuff like that. But I, I really dig the way they did the horns on this version. Uh, they are soft plastic. Um, but uh, I mean, there's no moving parts in, in the rhino form. Uh, but I mean, he still looks pretty good for what he is. And uh, just again, don't check his gender. So we break it down a little bit, and uh, Rhinox is not bad. He's uh, he, he has no real functionality as a Rhino, but if you're trying to fix your original, you know, maximal team, he is the last one you need, and uh, he's okay. Um, that that two parts that where they rub together as you do the transformation, I'm not cool with. Uh, maybe I'm doing it wrong, uh, but I shouldn't have to force one piece to overlap another piece to get them to do what they're supposed to do. Uh, obviously, if you figure it out, let me know. Uh, this is not a, I don't think it's a case where on, on Dinobot, I forgot to open his shins up and fold it into his, his guts. But uh, I feel like there has to be a better way to do this. The instructions aren't as clear as I would like. Um, as you see, I struggled a little bit getting those pieces over each other. And with the same thing with the uh, arms, getting the hands to go in. Uh, but I mean, overall, I mean, he looks like a rhino, even though he has this weird green on him. Tell me in the comments what you think about Kingdom Rhinox. Obviously, if you want to finish your Maximal set, you need him. And uh, other than a few QC issues and some not clear instructions about certain points in the transformation, he's a pretty good figure. He's a hefty figure. Uh, the, I wish the guns were a little bit longer in the backside. But uh, overall, I think he's, uh, he's worth the money. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.